What is up everyone, Vlapis here, and we have a little video here. Last night at E3, the Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers launch trailer was unveiled, so I want to rewatch this and go over some of the things discussed in this. And um, as a heads up, this is basically going to be spoiler warnings. From what I can tell, this is all main scenario quests in Shadowbringers, so if you're caught up and you don't want this stuff spoiled for you, I would suggest you click away from the video. But without further ado, let's start this out here. I'm gonna be pausing this throughout the video as we go. So we have the Warrior of Darkness just arrived, looks like. Well, if it ain't the oldest joke in the book. Okay. Adwin, pray tell, did we last? Adwin, I... I can't remember if that's an Asian or not, but we have some cave things here of some dark ago, figure. That's I think he's, years ago, I think a hundred years. years ago. Hell, did we last have a dark night? A dark night. So a this is talking about the calamity, and it's been about a hundred years. And then we have some child of light who is helping from some kind of, I guess, like a tsunami. It looks like the village that we've been previewed. Um, it's in the Dragon's Sun that has like the crystal sea. It's trying to defend it. chaotic no man's land between realms, time and space warm and blend in unexpected ways. Okay. So they're talking about the connected of the realms. They saw was the future. Was the future. Oh, it said something here. Sorry. What Uriange saw. Talking about Uriange. Was that a future? Okay. Oh, there's Sin Eaters here. How the Sin Eaters came to be. They were once living creatures or people that were caught in the path of the flood. Once the change is wrought, there is no going back. Okay, so Sin Eaters were once human, so to speak, and are corrupted by the flood of light. It looks like the Kurobo that killed the one person. Let's see here. That's how the Sin Eaters came to be. They yeah, cut someone down and looks like it corrupted them into a sin. The the there is no, going back. There's no way to go back. Across time and space, a voice beckons to the warrior of light. The eternal which is why we're here. So we already have Alphanod, Alice, and someone in the front there. I couldn't see. Let's see. I think that's just another dark knight. The eternal light. Yeah, I don't recognize any of the other characters, but we have Alphanod, Alice, and then... One of these is probably these the warrior of darkness. Us for nigh on a years. Black mage. Years has confounded okay, so that was Alphanod again, I believe. The light of these creatures has confounded yeah. us for nigh on a hundred years. Okay. For each we have People getting us. killed. We have a dancer, potentially maybe a new character in the story. In Unless maybe the they were just showing off. That is a very interesting sin in your preview. Relinquished by its Let's go back. Of the self Some kind of like mask with wings, ether, and I'm assuming maybe the mask is like the core of it. To I am consumed by the primordial light, the first. Okay. Okay, so we have like the succubi here, but they look like a light version of it. I'm guessing so the senator version of it, and then we. Have uh, this was in the Shadowbringers trailer, the like lion thing, uh, which is a boss on Amtikar, and we have this person called Volthri, some random masked person, another person here, very ancient looking, maybe potentially undead or, or maybe a Garlean. I'm thinking because of the eyes, like an Sin ancient Garlean. Okay, who is that? Hold on. Let's go part back of your I don't recognize that. One more time. Part of your okay, so it's someone I don't society. recognize. Okay, so we have someone cut and injured here. 
but they must be fed with ether. Living ether. Okay, so the Sin Eaters must be fed ether. And that's why that person's probably cut as a sacrifice, maybe, or just was injured in the fray. Very upsetting. Okay, we have Thancrit here. We have Yastola. It looks like she still has her bubble spell. Now, I can't tell. Maybe this is Lise? Or maybe this is just a new character who's being taken to potentially sacrifice. Because I, I don't think that's Menphilia. I don't think she's the right height for the Menphilia this we've seen. Beyond saving. We got someone in this light shade. Saving. I don't think we can tell. Like those who tried okay, so there we have Urianj, Thancred, and I can't really tell what this all means, but I think that says the elements. Oh, this is uh, astral, umbral, and then ice, earth, fire, lightning, wind, water. Okay, to save it. so just an elemental chart. I don't think anything... Oh, go back. I don't think anything's out of the ordinary in the chart, and I can't... And then there's like a tree in the middle of this. And we have the sun, the moon. Umbra almost looks like, almost like a, um, like a version of hell, and the astral is the skies and the heavens potentially. I don't see anything really out of balance with this chart. I think. Those uh, who try to save it. Okay, so we have people summoning something. A new. Is this one of the new fairies we're getting, or maybe no? This would be. I think this is a this pixie. World. Okay, we got a dragoon, a Viera dragoon to be precise. This, this either world. summoned a pixie, or maybe that is, um, like Eos. I don't heroes. think so though. And then we have the Garlean doing his mask. Sorry, the Asian doing his little like power mask thing. We're in some kind of building that's on fire it looks like like a cathedral some ruins okay we saw some kind of big hand thing yeah that's a that's a big boy look at that hand let's go back look at that it's huge okay a lot going on here i have no idea who this is all right so these look like examples of monster this looks like a service like model and then maybe a new primal here, very tree-like. Looks like there's three of them, and oh, that looks that might be Titania. And then this was, uh, I believe this is this might be Innocence, maybe the other primal. Yeah, and then he has like blade wings. That's really cool looking. And then we're in like his temple, maybe. There's like a throne in the back here. Looks really great. And then I shall down okay and then this is showing us going over there's some kind of book the heaven sword book. we have that person that was deceased previously or sorry they weren't deceased it was a new person we haven't noticed yet and then some i believe this is the person that's teleporting us over to the first shard okay so we have characters this is I'm still thinking this is a new main character we don't know about yet. Gave. Okay, so this was the Warrior of Darkness. So we have our Dark Knight, Thancred, uh, Alpha Nine, I assume maybe Alice Everything we gave. Okay, so here's the warrior that fought us. What was it for? And casting doubt on all the things we've done. That looked like someone different there. It's not Thancred. Not with that black hair. Maybe it's just the warrior light. Maybe it's brown hair. Maybe it's Stola. This new person, some giant circle covering the whole planet. Okay, now we're showing off some of the skills. We have uh, the Phoenix, one of the bard skills, uh, red mage, some issue with Alphanaut. Wait, was that Alphanaut holding? 
Okay, so that looks like Elkanod holding LSA. Maybe she's gonna be in trouble in this expansion or get hurt. Uh, maybe the Dark Knight or the Warrior of Darkness engulfed in shadows. Maybe like a rage form. We have White Mage, Monk punching something. Or sorry, kicking something. Uh, what was that bow? Go back. Okay, so there was Black Mage. This, I believe, is the Astral Illusion. And we have Samurai, as of the era, or your Darkness. Okay, so there was uh, Dragoon, Ninja, Bancret, some person with a staff. I think this is still the person that takes us over. He's just hiding behind a mask. He's doing something. How many? Okay, so we have Minfilia. Okay, so maybe this is the this is actually the other Minfilia here, and it looks like they're meeting each other. So the person earlier, I'm guessing, that was tied up was Minfilia that was walking through the city. Yes, my boy. Okay, so we, again, Alphanod. I would say Thancred, Menphilia, and Yastola, Urianja. For the one possessed of her blessing. Talking about Hydaelyn. For you. Through prayer and okay. sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard, but it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods, but... They are gods after a fashion, yes. The eldest and most powerful of primals. So Hydaelyn and Zodiac are primals. Okay. Um, that raises a lot of questions. Um, they are gods after a fashion, yes. The eldest and most powerful. Okay, so this goes of primals against um, Garleans because they don't like primals. And Zodiac is definitely a primal. Hydaelyn's a primal. Um, this definitely changes the narrative a lot. Uh, but we're going to have to see what we're going to do Prime about that no, when we find out that Hydaelyn and Zodiac are primals. Um, let's see if we can get an image of the... So these paintings... Let's see if I... So we have Zodiac. It sounded an awful lot like you were implying... And then they're either... I'm guessing they're doing battle here or... F I don't think they're and fusing. And then maybe it's predicting that Hydaelyn won. They are gods after a fashion. Yes, the eldest and most powerful of primals. Such a great line, though. Uh, so we got a lot of things going on in Shadowbringers, and I'm very hopeful for this. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, if I missed anything, it is a launch trailer, and I am who I am, and I definitely miss things from time to time. This is going to be a very interesting person um i forget his name already but this person seems to be in line with the sin eaters and potentially being rewarded or maybe he is a sin eater i don't think he is because he doesn't have those attributes but it looks like someone who works for the sin eaters and gets rewarded for it so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button as well as share this video and if you're new to the channel subscribe and ring that bell for notifications notifications. With that being said, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.